What do you think? My chest really, like, it's really coming in, right? Oh, yeah. I'm sure you've seen it before. Somebody at the gym, recreational bodybuilder, and they've developed their chest and upper bodies in such a way that they kind of look like they have a hunched over posture. Or maybe you felt a little bit this yourself after a big bench press day. I'm here to tell you, don't make the dreaded mistake of getting narrowly focused on a few visible muscles like your chest. And as a result, you get your entire body, your entire physique, all out of whack. Muscle imbalances on a small scale can result in pain, but on a large scale, they can impact your posture, your range of motion, and even the quality of movement in your life. One of the hallmarks of the functional bodybuilding method is that we blend mobility with strength and hypertrophy work. This way we can develop muscle and strength in your full range of motion and never compromise moving in any direction. What I find so remarkable is that when you take a full range mobility driven approach to muscle building and strength, you can see equal if not better results. And while you're at it, you're gonna feel great and never compromise your posture and joint health. So the next time you catch yourself thinking about how you can train a specific muscle, then refer to this video and make sure you're taking a zoomed out look at the big picture. Now let's be clear, functional bodybuilding is not a posture enhancement program specifically. We don't train posture directly but many people find this a surprising and welcome benefit after trying functional bodybuilding. Just take a look at this comment from a recent follower of the Persist Training Program that I received as a DM. He was very thankful for this new approach to building his upper body that improved his posture and made him look even taller. All right, but don't worry. You're not gonna need to leave the weights behind you and turn into a contortionist to get into great positions regularly. What you will need to do is adopt a strength meets length or functional muscle mindset when you go to building your body. We do not wanna sacrifice our posture, muscle balance, or movement ability in search of bigger muscles or greater strength. So today what I've got for you and what follows are my favorite upper body functional bodybuilding moves that strengthen and lengthen. These strength and hypertrophy movements that we love in functional bodybuilding place an emphasis on long range of motion in multiple planes. By doing these movements correctly through a full range of motion, you can improve not only your muscle mass and strength, but also your posture. In addition, today, I consulted with functional bodybuilding master coach Adam Fetter, who is a doctor of physical therapy, and pulled his favorite physical therapy movements that he loves to give to his desk jockeys who are limited in the amount of upper body movement that they get. When we're stuck at our desks and in an anterior shoulder posture for hours a day, we can fall victim to many of these same postural challenges over time. I've paired each loaded or body weight exercise with a complementary physical therapy movement that will emphasize mobility in key areas to optimize function, posture, and enhance your strength and hypertrophy gains. Now, also keep in mind that the movements that are gonna follow are nothing new or innovative. You'll likely have seen every single one of these before, possibly on my channel. What I want you to pay attention to instead is how I'm performing them. And keep in mind the mentality of hitting big range of motion first and foremost over increasing load. Now, before I go any further, I wanna ask you to do something for me. If you like this topic and it's gonna provide you some value in getting your upper body moving, feeling better, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any of our future videos. Furthermore, I want you to go down to the description in the link below and I want you to tap the button that's gonna take you to the workout that is free that's going to put all of these movements together for you in a start to finish workout program that's going to build strength, muscle, 
and great mobility in your upper body. It's free to download, so go do that right now. All right, let's get started. Jumping into the first exercise, we're gonna cover the dumbbell cross bench pullover. This movement is gonna target the lats, triceps, and even the chest. The focus is on a large range of motion as your shoulder moves overhead into flexion. I want you to aim to keep your spine as neutral as possible and focus on the opening and the closing of the shoulder joint specifically. A pause at the end of each repetition overhead is a great way to reinforce strength and end range of motion. The mobility complement to go with this exercise is called the T-spine or thoracic spine can opener. This is one of my absolute favorites. You can perform this with a sandbag or a medicine ball underneath your upper body, and all you need is a heavy implement like a kettlebell or something else to anchor your hands underneath with them overhead. This is essentially an isometric variation of the pullover. You can oscillate between contracting your muscles and fully relaxing, and you can hang out in this position for 30 seconds all the way up to two minutes or more. My next favorite upper body exercise for mobility and strength and muscle gain is the incline dumbbell bench press. For this, we're going to place an emphasis on lowering the dumbbells as deeply down our sides as possible. One of the ways that we can emphasize this is by turning the dumbbells into a neutral position. This is gonna allow them to travel past our shoulders, down the sides of our torso, and connect to our ribs. If you keep the dumbbells in the pronated position, they will often bump into your body and limit your range of motion. I want you to actively think about pulling the dumbbells down as far as you can before pressing up. A small, subtle pause at the bottom of each rep is also good to reinforce that stretched position and add strength to end range there. The mobility complement to the dumbbell incline bench press is going to be a horizontal pulling variation. This is gonna involve seated banded rows with multiple bands, and we're gonna add in some thoracic spinal flexion and extension. Now, these banded poles are not meant to emphasize a big range of motion. Instead, we wanna be focusing on strength and movement in the shoulder blades combined with the flexion and extension of the thoracic spine. This movement is designed to help get your shoulder blades moving very smoothly over the surface of your upper back and your thoracic spine, which will lead to much better overall upper extremity range of motion and mobility. All right, next up is the strict bar dip. And we're gonna be emphasizing, again, a deep range of motion with a pause at the bottom of each rep. When performing strict bar dips, I like to have some physical landmarks to think about to help me know when I'm hitting deep ranges of motion. I like to use the shoulder and the elbow as physical landmarks. I'm trying to get my shoulders to go deeper or lower than the top of my elbow at the bottom of the dip. One of the obstacles and the challenges that many people face in getting this deep range of motion on the bar dip is that the movement itself is very demanding. The deeper you go in the dip, the more vulnerable or weak people can feel. So one way to overcome that is to perform your bar dips with some assistance. That assistance can be in the form of a band underneath your knees or with your feet on the floor or on a box beneath you to support that range of motion. As you get lower in the dip and you feel weaker and weaker, use more assistance to help you achieve that stretched position at the bottom. The mobility complement to this exercise is the shoulder extension stretch seated with a barbell or a band behind you. This shoulder extension position, it just pairs great with the dip. While the dip targets this same position at the bottom, it does so in a bent arm position. While this stretch being performed with straight arms will lengthen the bicep and also touch a slightly different position of the shoulder. You can add this as a static stretch at the end of all of your dip sets, or alternatively, you can perform 30 seconds of this position after each set of your dips in a superset fashion. Okay, next up is the supinated chest to bar pull up. This movement's gonna cover two particular areas that I believe are underrepresented in the upper body pulling category of movements. First, the supinated grip. 
turning your hands palm up. Now, plenty of people do chin-ups, but doing them to a full range of motion is something different and definitely adds a great mobility piece to your shoulders. Secondly, is doing pull-ups or chin-ups to a range of motion where you're aiming to get your chest all the way up to the pull-up bar. Now, many people perform their pull-ups simply by trying to get their chin to clear the height of the pull-up bar. But if you look at the repetitions that I'm doing, if I bring the bar all the way to the level of my chest, I'm getting anywhere from four to six inches more range of motion in my shoulder. That added range of motion is going to dramatically impact how your upper back and your arms engage in this exercise. If you find it very difficult to perform a repetition of a pull-up all the way up till your chest can touch the bar, then I encourage you to perform negatives instead. And the negative is simply going to involve you jumping your body all the way up to this very top of this range of motion, holding it for a brief second and then lowering slowly. Repeat that for the desired number of reps. This body weight, hypertrophy, and strength training exercise focuses very much on the top of range of motion. So the mobility complement to this is going to be supinated passive hangs. What you can do is you can implement these passive hangs at the end of a working set and hold for anywhere from 20 to 40 seconds. Alternatively, you could just finish your working sets of these supinated pull-ups and then add two minutes of this static passive hang with a supinated grip at the end of all of your sets. All right, the fifth exercise is the parallel push-up with a deficit and we're exaggerating shoulder extension. The push-up is such a great exercise for building upper body strength and muscle. It just takes a little bit of creativity to figure out ways to make it more challenging as you progress. Certainly you can do more reps, you can do them faster, but you can even add weight to a push-up by putting a weight plate on your back or a dumbbell on your back or a weighted vest. Furthermore, if you just put your feet up onto a bench, that too can increase the challenge of your push-up. But what we wanna be focused on in this video is the range of motion of this parallel push-up. Because of the way my hands are positioned on these parallettes, and because I'm actively pulling my body down to the floor as low as I can get, I'm getting a dramatic stretch in my shoulders. I'm also getting a huge extension position in the shoulder, as well as I'm retracting my shoulder blades. This is not only gonna help posture, it's gonna increase range of motion, and it's gonna get me to target and engage a lot more muscle tissue in the chest, the shoulders, and the triceps. The mobility complement to this exercise is called the weighted sideline thoracic rotation. As the name suggests, this movement is going to target thoracic rotation. Additionally, you're also gonna get a pec stretch to complement the deficit push-up that we're doing. Thoracic rotation is often overlooked in training and a lack of it can lead to limitations in shoulder and upper body mobility. Be sure to keep your hips and your knees at 90 degree and use the non-working arm to hold the knees down as you rotate the upper body down to the floor. Okay, today's sixth and final exercise is the incline dumbbell prone row with a pause at the top. Much like the incline dumbbell bench press that you saw earlier, this movement is almost the exact opposite. Facing down on the bench, pulling the dumbbells as high as you physically can up your sides with a pause at the top is going to dramatically increase the range of motion and the control of your upper back and posture. The key with this exercise is to know your loading limits. If you load too heavy, you're not gonna be able to pull the dumbbells very high. I want you to use this benchmark and this physical benchmark as your goal. The dumbbells should come all the way up and be able to touch your ribs with your elbows much higher than your upper back. The moment you stop feeling those dumbbells reach the sides of your body, the weight has gotten too heavy. Lower the weight, get the higher reps, and make sure you're pausing each time at the top. The mobility complement to this exercise is called the scapular push-up on forearms or on elbows. Since the emphasis of the prone row is on scapular retraction at the top of the row, we're gonna be working on the opposing muscular contraction with this scapular push-up. With each rep, it is valuable to lower yourself as deep as you can by retracting the shoulder blades 
and at the top of each rep, I want you to press your shoulders and your upper back as high as possible in the air. I hope you picked up some great movement cues and some great ideas about how to take basic, standard, upper body strengthening and muscle building exercises in the gym and tweak them subtly or focus on a specific area that is going to not only get you the strength and the muscle that you want, but keep your range of motion expanding and your upper body posture and mobility on point. See, it isn't enough to just do the exercises. You have to have intention behind how you approach your training. With the right intention, paired with the right exercises, that's when you get magic and that's when you see dramatic results. It's for this reason why functional bodybuilding promotes the thinking athlete. I'm here to try and help educate you on how to approach training with the right mentality. Because if you do, if you bring the right mentality to training, the results that you can experience will far exceed what you ever thought possible. So try to do more than just be a workout follower. Be a thinker, be a thinking athlete, join the functional bodybuilding movement, know more and get more results. And remember, if you wanna get all of these movements in a put together full workout from start to finish, you can drop down into the description below and you can click the link for a free download. And as always, thank you for your time. I know it's precious. I know you don't have a lot of it. So I appreciate you giving it to me for these 15 to 20 minutes. I hope you learned something. If you have questions, drop them in the comments below. I would love to engage with you and see you next time on the channel.